on June 30, 1995, was released what would be the best Power Rangers movie in history and which to this day has not yet been surpassed by any other movie of this franchise. In this channel we have talked several times about this movie, but we had never done a complete analysis and today we are going to talk about the things that made it so legendary. When this movie was released, the Power Rangers was at its best moment and the Mighty Morphin series was loved by all the fans. At that time, television was very important, the internet was nothing like what we have now, and video games were not a competition either. The style of the Power Rangers was innovative at that time and even though there were series with a similar style, for some reason the Power Rangers had a unique magic. All this fame helped the film a lot, as releasing a project of something that is not in its prime can be a tough gamble because you need an active audience that is interested in watching your project. This movie couldn't use the nostalgia advantage as the Power Rangers was just getting started, so this movie was a risk and no one knew it was going to become the best movie ever, until now. Even though this movie is not part of the canon, which means it has nothing to do with the story of the series, still, they were able to use all the elements that the series had and only changed a few things. Those changes were very effective as they managed to improve things that the series didn't do very well and, in this movie, they did it much better. The first thing they did was change the style as we all know that the series has a pretty clean style, with a lot of silly comedy and the stories were not that dangerous. However, the movie had a very dark style, the rangers were in real danger of being defeated, and there was very little comedy. All of this we could see throughout the movie, and we are going to analyze this part by part. Starting with the logo, and although many people do not understand the importance of a logo, I must tell you that this is the beginning of the image of any project. The logo must transmit the style that the project will have and that is why, if we make a comparison between the logo of the series and the logo of the movie, we can see that the style is very different. The logo of the series has many colors, and it is bright, however, the logo of the movie is dark and has only one color with a metallic style. This showed us from the beginning that the movie was not going to be the same as the series, but it was going to be darker, serious, and with a different drama. We also got to see a change of villain, but the best part was the way they put aside the villains we already knew. Ivan Ooze came in a forceful way, seized the throne, and proclaimed himself as the boss. He was not afraid of Rita and Lord Zed, he even defeated them easily, but the most impressive thing is that he treated them like useless toys. It was this level of power that started the movie feeling dark and filled the fans with fear. We were used to Lord Zed being a very scary and powerful villain but seeing that Ivan was able to defeat him effortlessly, we felt concern for the lives of the rangers. Then, this villain did what no one had ever accomplished, he distracted the rangers with some warriors and infiltrated the command center. There, he destroyed everything, including Alpha 5 and almost took Zordon's life. This was the second step in making the level of darkness in the movie worse as we were now having our emotions destroyed by seeing our greatest mentor being destroyed in such a way. Seeing all of this was very impressive as it had never been seen in the series and because of this we thought it was impossible that something like this would ever happen. Because of all this destruction, the rangers lose their powers and here comes the third level of darkness. Now, we have a new villain more powerful than any other monster, a destroyed command center, our mentor is dying and the only ones who can save him have no powers. This is a work of art, a story that took us into a real problem, a very difficult situation to solve in which we felt the rangers were in real danger. This is a very dark story in which our heroes have been almost defeated and are in the worst moment of their lives as rangers. This was the key to this movie being the best in the entire history of the franchise and this is exactly what they need to learn in order to create another successful Power Rangers movie. 
Now let's analyze the action that was in the whole movie, and this is a very important part as the Power Rangers should have a lot of action. Something we love about this fantasy universe is the battles as this is exactly what we look forward to the most at every moment and these fights must be creative. This was exactly what we got in this movie, several fights spread throughout the story with different enemies and each of these fights was more difficult than the previous one. Only 15 minutes had passed when the first battle started, and this was very important for the success of this story. Basically, the movie started with a lot of action, and we can say that this was a great fight in which we could see some great weapons, excellent movements, and spectacular poses. Then, the Rangers had another battle against the Tenga Warriors and in this fight the Rangers had no more powers. Because of this, they started to lose the fight, so there we started to feel the real danger. These monsters were very strong, and the rangers could have lost their lives. They also had a short battle against a dinosaur skeleton, an action-packed moment in which the rangers could already start to demonstrate their new ninjetti powers. The last battle was against the stone monsters guarding the great power as the other battle was with the zords. This fight against these stone monsters was one of the best as they were very strong enemies and the rangers had to be very creative to destroy them. In this fight we could see a lot of teamwork and many excellent moves since they had no weapons. Let's talk about the details that made this film stand on a higher level, because details are always important for any project. The first thing I should point out is that even though the movie is not canon, they were still able to use the Mighty Morphin music and this has been one of the best themes of the franchise. This music is so motivating that when you play it in any fight, it makes us feel very excited and this raises the energy level. Another important detail was the costumes and I mean both styles, the original costumes and the Ninjetti Power costumes. The original costumes are not the same as the series costumes, these movie costumes were made of a different material, and this made them look very resistant. The detail of the power coin embedded in the chest of each ranger was one of the best things, plus the helmets also had some differences. The Ninjetti power suit is also one of the most spectacular in the whole story, they are actually my favorite suits. This ninja style changed a bit the entire style of the movie and gave us several exciting moments. Another important detail was the transformations, and we could see three different transformations. First, we saw the main Morphin, which was also a little different from what we were used to in the series. Then, we saw the transformation of the Ninjetti powers, which was with a lot of glitter and magic. The last transformation for me was the most exciting and it was when the rangers managed to obtain the great power. The music they used was excellent and the way they made the transition was also very successful. This movie had a very emotional ending, starting with the destruction of the villain and then brought tears to our eyes with the resurrection of Zordon. This movie was a work of art with very few flaws overall and everything positive that a Power Rangers movie should have. 